Folks, we're in downtown LA after dark, even though it's only 5 p.m. This time change is just, it's miserable. We got a few things we're gonna do tonight. We're gonna check out the 10 freeway fire scene. I hear it's just a, a complete chaotic zone over there. So we're gonna go over there and see what's going on. I actually went over there the day that the fire started. If you guys missed that video, I'll link it first link in the description. That was day one. Today is Tuesday, so it's a couple days later. State of emergency in California has been declared. They can dedicate extra resources to it more easily. It's not like there's like a huge emergency that people need to be worried about. The biggest problem is that the traffic is just outrageous. It took me an hour and a half to get down here at my prime time, which usually it takes me about 40 minutes. So it's about double the commute, nothing too bad, but that's significantly more, I guess you could say. We're over here, crypto arena. There's way more cars. That's the first thing I noticed when I got out here and started pedaling. There's just more cars everywhere. You know, like look at this line of cars. And we're kind of just like on a random back street in downtown LA. So first stop, we're just going to go straight over there. It's going to be kind of weird going there at this time from where I parked. Oh God. See, look, everyone's impatient. I'm getting honked out for riding my bike. Go around, bro. This guy. Yeah, we got to cut through some pretty treacherous parts of town to get there, but Let's do it. This is going to be one of the most hectic rides to the city. It's usually like very tame coming through here at this time. But the thing is, all the traffic is getting diverted through the middle of town. Now, downtown is kind of surrounded like a square by all these major freeways. So when you have one that's basically inaccessible in the middle part, everybody has to go through the middle of town and then you get what you're seeing here which is just insane gridlock traffic. There is a police helicopter above. I don't know what exactly that's for. Uh, let's take a quick gander at the scanner or the Citizens app, see what's going on. You kind of just have to be alert right now. There's so much traffic. It's a real possibility that you get hit by a car if you're not paying attention. I don't see anything in particular. Look at this traffic is so gridlocked. We can just go. These cars had a green light. They did not move at all for 30 seconds. Yikes, dude. <laughs> Matter of fact, we're gonna go take a spin through this. Show you guys exactly how gridlocked this is. This is an entire block of traffic stuck. Straight up stuck. It's never a better time to have a bicycle uh, than today, I'd say. Look at this. We gotta actually maneuver our way through here somewhat with skill. I don't like being on that side. Yeah, so anyways, right now, as you can see, I mean, to put it bluntly, downtown is just not the place you'd want to be driving a car for the next few weeks. They're saying it could take between three and five weeks for that part of the freeway to reopen. Dude, people are, you can just feel the, like the anger in these drivers, like, so you can expect these conditions for, uh, the next few weeks, look at this. Straight up, nothing going on. It sucks if you have to go through the middle of the city right now. Um, all right, we're gonna take this route, even though it's a one way, at least I can see what's coming at me as we make our way down. And I'll show you guys how much traffic is all the way through the city. Some people might be watching like, what do you mean there's traffic? Like, that's normal. There's always traffic in downtown LA. Yeah, it's true, but it is, ugh exceptionally bad right now <laughs> i guess it's not the worst thing for the only traffic the only problem to be a bunch of traffic but you know oh we got the lamb street parked <laughs> i wouldn't do that on this street right here these drivers are in a rush Okay, it's actually lighting up a bit over on this bar. We're going through the, uh, kind of the same route we took the other night. Oh. This is pretty sketch going against traffic, so I think we're gonna take another route. I kind of want to just get down to where, uh, you know, the, the fire was, so we can see how that looks, but. We got to go through this hectic part. This is actually kind of sick at night. Look at this. this looks like a little movie scene. I'm 
I'm gonna try to not get lost like I did the other night when I was going through here. Pretty sketch part of town we're gonna be going through at this time, so I'm gonna be keeping it moving pretty much non-stop. The funny part is it's not even late. Look at all this broken glass. Can you guys see that in the GoPro? Tons of broken glass right here. Either cars break-ins or people just throwing bottles for, for no reason. Yes. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna hit a right on San Pedro Street. Here's where you start really feeling the traffic. The 10 freeway, the one that shut down is in front of us. I think it's open coming up on this street. You can actually get on it. But the problem is all the cars are trying to get to this street to get on it. So just getting to it is half the battle right now. You gotta fight through all this traffic. We got a wild Prius about to make a right turn in front of all of us. Let's get back in traffic, huh? <laughs> for someone like me i'm a i ride bikes so this is kind of fun to just have this much traffic to ride through but i guess for just about anyone else it's miserable you know it is what it is let's just start zigzagging we got to get there we still have a lot of distance to cover i feel like today it may not be shut down at all so i think we'll be able to Get a much better view of the damage see what's been cleaned up you know what the what the situation is over there i don't like lane splitting like this because people can open their doors and that could be uh bad for me so we're just going to curve it for a bit look at this you uh, for, let me explain do you never see this this is not something that is normal right like there's never this much traffic like this part of town at this time, even at 5 p.m., still kind of rush hour-ish, but this is abnormal. This is very abnormal, you know? Oh, whoa. I think my sixth sense was working right there. I felt them about to turn right. So that's why I'm, I'm, very, I'm being very careful because when you got people stuck in traffic at this time like this, they are, they're just reckless drivers. All right, we continue on though. We still have I want to say like five more minutes till we get to the scene of the original fire. It's also crazy to think that one little fire turned into such a huge mess. This is sketch for me. <laughs> I should slow it down a tad bit. I probably will. Ain't nobody really paying attention right now. It's crazy to think, I mean, that apparently when I first, the day that I, the fire happened, I came out and I filmed here, right? And I assumed that it was just homeless, camp, fire, accidental, whatever. But apparently that is just not the case. Apparently it is, it was an arsonist. Now that's confirmed or what, but I mean, apparently it was some concrete, uh, it was some concrete evidence that it was a guy who started the fire. Now, it could be insurance money, who knows? I remember like 10 years ago, there was a huge fire right off of the 110 and that ended up being insurance. That was kind of before, you know, the homeless problem was in such a boom as it is now. I'm just going to go. Like it was definitely still significant, but it wasn't like, uh, there wasn't such a regular occurrence of oh, this truck's having a bad time trying to get around that corner. It wasn't a regular occurrence of homeless camps starting getting caught on fire like, you know, every single day. Or maybe I just didn't notice it. I don't know. Uh, at any rate, you know, that's what's going on. We're going to hit this left right here. It's just, it's, <laughs> it's kind of crazy seeing all this, man. You don't ever see this much traffic in these parts of town at this time. Straight up gridlocked. Hey, we got wide open right here. I think a lot of people expected it to be more like around the entire city, just impossible to move. You can still get to where you got to go. It definitely took me a little bit longer to get down here than usually does, but it really makes you realize how much when one freeway 
not even the whole freeway, just a little section of the freeway gets shut down. Full-blown panic ensues. State of emergency declared. Traffic threefold increase. And it already sucked before, so. Uh, we're coming around to Bend. We're gonna be there in a second, just so we can get a look at what's going on tonight. More full-blown gridlock. Look, this street is just closed off. What's going on this way? Oh, they're working on a power line, okay. That couldn't help right now. That's probably the most inconvenient time for a uh, power outage to be happening, huh? I get scared doing these lane splits now because Teslas and Priuses are so quiet. You can't even hear them if they're speeding. They could run right through you. Keep going. Okay, so we're at the 10. The source of the fire is not far from where we are. This intersection is gonna be hell to get through. We have to take it nice and easy. So sketch. Nobody wants to stop right here. Just straight up bonkers. <laughs> oh man. Well, if you do live in LA, it's a great time to hop on your bicycle or take the train. See what the uh, red line's all about, huh? Or the blue line. Two of my personal favorites. <laughs> There's nothing nice about either of them, really. That fire helicopter's still overhead. We're coming up around the bend. As you can see, all the traffic's going one way right now. They're trying to hit the diversion to the freeway. Let's go ahead and curb it. So I actually went there and filmed some footage I didn't include. I'll go ahead and roll that right now. What's going on? Is the entire road blocked off? Yeah, you can't. Okay, I just came to see. Which side was on fire? Uh, just like that whole section under the bridge that you can see from here. All yeah. That was on fire. Okay. Yeah, I have like a YouTube channel, so I just ride around and, and film shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, it's about as far as we're right now. Okay, I mean, can I go into the store? You can go in there. Okay. Yeah, but don't go in. Further down, right. Got gotcha. you. Cool, man. So what you see to the left, very similar to something like this that caught on fire. Uh, same type of layout, only difference is that it was covered in, oh God, thank you. It was covered in ballots, which you know, wood catches on fire. Oh, am I gonna get hit? Let's see, let's go, ooh, taco stand. Ooh, a little thread of the needle. It looks like we can get a little bit more closer than we could the other day. The road is definitely still closed, but okay, there's a lot going on. The news is still here, ABC7. They probably have not left since this started going down. Looks like we got a news correspondent right here. Guy on an e-bike right there. The news is just waiting to capture footage. See what we can see on the phone. So, looks like it's just a uh, general cleanup still. Trash truck over there working. They got the, oh, they got the, they got Chick fil A. <laughs> they got Chick fil A, that's what's up. Eating good. Uh, well, here's a scene from here. We're going to go over to that angle we went to the other day the day that it happened see if we could see anything better but as you can see it's just a bunch of cal caltrans uh working working on the cleanup process looks like they haven't begun on the freeway yet let's take a look at the freeway from here under underneath it is very scorched i don't know if that wood is freshly installed if that's been there you can see some of the pillars got damaged right there and then some of the guardrails on the off ramp damage it as well. I'm gonna try and go up closer. Damn, 
iPhone is crazy, that's right. What about to shut the gate on me? So yeah, okay, let's go around the side. Other than that, can't really tell much else different than the night we saw. They're just cleaning stuff up. All right, dude's gonna be out here all night getting that good content. Look at this news truck, this thing's sick. How you doing? ABC7. And then me. All right, let's go ahead and bend the corner. We're gonna go up here, past 14 to the next street, make a right. And uh, we're gonna check out this super sketchy. Hey, Telemundo, let's go. Shout out to my NF Spaniel viewers. Look at all this trash on the curb over here. That's normal for this part of LA, but I mean, I'm sure it's, uh, I'm sure there'd be more dust and debris on this street with all the increased traffic. It's gonna be seen for the next few weeks. Look at that, it looks like it's, oh, <laughs> it's a, <laughs> It's an LA cologne store. I thought it was a Christmas tree store. They're selling a different type of tree. Gas station surprisingly empty. You would think it'd be full at this time. Okay, so here's one way we could go check out. Looks like it's mainly closed off. We went out the next road had a better view so hopefully that one's not closed down but it might be i saw on youtube that they started sweeping out the uh all the tents and camps and rv camps that are right here yeah it's closed off now unfortunately we can't go back down here how you doing yeah so this is the farthest we're going to be able to get right here Looks like the cleanup is much improved from the last time we were out here. They swept out all the RVs that were just here. That was Sunday that we came down here and there were RVs lying in the streets and tons of trash. Looks like they needed space for the cleanup. That's the primary reason that they got rid of uh, all the people that were living back here. So they could fit the Caltrans workers necessary for this massive cleanup that's gonna take a few weeks. Anyways, that's the scene down here today today's date is november 14th for those who view this in the future only a couple days after the fire had initially broke out also what's next well you know the governor put out a state of emergency so that they could divert extra resources to cleaning it up i'll probably be avoiding the city kind of or at least try to find the right time to come down here because it was truly brutal and as you guys can see right now the traffic is just out of this world to just get through here uh my advice ride a bicycle ride a bike take the train do anything but drive because it was infuriating as you can see nobody's really happy right now uh, trying to drive around out here but uh, it was especially infuriating today just trying to get down here um, it was out of this world aggravating so I will not be coming to the city look to have traffic directors when the stoplights work usually you only see those when the stoplights are out so that says something about how uh, you know, impatient people are becoming with the amount of traffic out here. This is traffic coming out of Skid Row. That's how bad it is. Skid Row is probably gridlock. Let's go check out Skid Row. I'm sure it's uh, kind of crazy right now. Dude, he's, he's hitting the train horn. He's over it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh no. People are fed up, folks. I don't know what else to say. This truck was coming in so hot behind me, it scared the hell out of me. I could feel his presence behind me. Holy crap. Ain't nobody trying to stop out here. Don't blame them. Ah, oh, we're stuck. Now we gotta do the sprint through downtown. Gridlock of the century i feel bad for all these people stuck in this traffic this is this is brutal i'd be losing my mind if i was just trying to get home i was stuck in this crap i'm just gonna get off the street man it's just a little too hectic you can feel the energy the the anger in some of these drivers they really don't want to slow down or stop 
you know it's actually not as bad here in the city like actually in the heart of the city it's not much traffic at all surprisingly You know, I've never made a video all about traffic, so this is the first one, I guess. <laughs> it's definitely the main theme of today. Anyways, I'll keep you guys updated on stuff going on in the city of LA. Uh, as far as tonight, it's pretty much all that's going on. Clean up under the bridge. They swept out a lot of the homeless folks that were living there. And uh, I guess there's nothing for us to do but wait and see. And in the meantime, hey, you can always hit up Sam's Hofbrow. If you know, you know. <laughs> By the way, folks, thank you for watching yet another video. I'll see you in the next one very soon. Peace out.